Hello, and welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video, we will be covering the topic of QoS traffic shaping on the GEMDS Orbit platform. This is part 4 of a multi-part QoS video series. If you have not yet watched the previous videos in the series, please do so now. This video will be similar to the previous two videos, but instead of purely prioritizing the traffic, instead we will be using a mix of prioritization, committed rates, which can be thought of as a minimum rate, and maximum rates. Before configuring QoS traffic shaping, you must first figure out how much bandwidth you have available to commit to each class. To do this, you can use a simple throughput test program like iPerf. If you do not have a way to test this, an easy way to get a rough estimate of your available data rate is to take your modem speed and subtract 20%. For example, if I am running 1000 kilobit per second modem on an MCR900, my overall committed rate for the system would be roughly 800 kilobits per second. Note that if you are transmitting mostly small frame sizes, such as less than 500 bytes, then the system rate will be a little lower and you may need to tweak some of the committed rates. We will cover this a little more later. Let's say we wanted the goose traffic to be priority zero. Remember that the numerically lowest priority value actually means highest priority. But we wanted to dedicate 100 kilobits per second of our link to that traffic type. And if there is available throughput remaining, it can use up to a max of our overall committed rate of 800 kilobits per second. Moving on to VLAN 101, we will want that at priority 1. But let's say we want to dedicate 150 kilobits per second of that traffic type. And again, the max rate will be 800 kilobits per second. Next, the FTP class will be lower priority. Let's say we want to limit the bandwidth it consumes to 50 kilobits per second with a max of 800 kilobits per second. Lastly, the default class will be dedicated 300 kilobits per second with a max of 800 kilobits per second. Note that if a maximum rate was not declared, it would be automatically set to that of the committed rate. The first step to setting up QoS is creating the traffic classifiers. This video will assume they have already been entered. We will have one for goose traffic, one for VLAN 101 traffic, and one for FTP traffic. If you do not know or remember how to create these, please see the previous video. Let's take a look at configuring the setup. After logging in, Navigate to Services, then QoS Service, then Basic Config. If I open up the Classifier tab, you can see that we already have our FTP, Goose, and VLAN 101 classifiers set. If we open the Policy submenu, we'll click Add. Then here we'll create our main policy. I'll just call it Main Policy, then press Add. In the Type dropdown, we'll select Shaping, then enable the checkbox for Shaping HTB. Here we have Default Class, Committed Rate, Max Rate, and Burst. We'll cover these in a moment. First, we need to create our classes, so we'll press Add. The first class we create will be our Default Class. So we can just call it Default Class, then press Add. Now from our drawing we looked at earlier, we determined that we wanted to dedicate 300 kilobits per second to any remaining unclassified traffic. So we'll enter 300 in the committed rate box. And as we discussed earlier, the max rate will be set to 800. When the max rate is configured, we could have also set the burst parameter. The burst parameter is a number of bytes that can be burst above the committed rate where the ceiling is the max rate, regardless of the burst setting. The next parameter is priority. The priority in traffic shaping works differently than that of traffic prioritization that we covered in the previous videos. In traffic shaping, the committed rate will always be met for all classes no matter what. Priority is not used until there is a need for additional bandwidth up to the max rate that is set for each class. Priority in this case determines which class will be given the additional bandwidth first up to its max rate. So we'll give this priority 10. We don't need a classifier because this is our default class and we don't need a next policy. The next policy option can be used to apply a secondary policy to traffic in this class. 
A common next policy is the fairness policy, which allows any traffic within this class to be treated fairly. This prevents one stream of traffic from consuming all remaining bandwidth over others, such as in the case of a denial of service attack or even accidentally. So we'll press finish. Now let's create the remaining classes from our example. The order we create these doesn't really matter as long as they all get done in the end. So first we'll look at the goose class. As we discussed earlier, we'll set the committed rate to 100, the max rate to 800, priority to zero, and here we will need a classifier. As this is the goose, we'll select goose, then press add, then finish. So now we have the default class and the goose class. Next we'll create the VLAN 101 class. And as we talked about earlier, the committed rate will be 150. Again, the max rate will be 800. Set the priority to 1. And the classifier will be the VLAN 101 classifier. Okay, press finish. And the last one we need to create is the FTP class. Again, this will be 50, 800. And we want this lower priority, so we'll set that to 15, say. And we'll add the classifier. The next thing that needs to be done is we need to select the default class. In this case, we aptly named it default class, so it's easy to find. And again, as we discussed earlier, our committed rate for the entire system will be 800. And in this case, we won't set a max rate or a burst. So after finishing that, you'll want to enable the QoS service. Usually I like to save as I go, so we'll save that. Changes have been saved. The last piece that needs to be done is we need to apply the QoS rule to the interface that we wish to apply it to, which in this case will be the NX radio. Go to basic config, go down to QoS, under output, we'll select our policy that we created, press OK, then press save. And that's it. Our QoS traffic shaping rule has been applied to the NX radio interface. Thank you for watching another GE MDS training video. For more information, please view our other YouTube videos or visit our website at gemds.com.